I'm, I'm, I'm so deeply proud to be among you brave, concerned, patriotic American citizens. And I, brought, I brought a two other folks with me on, on the trek from Los Angeles, and, I, and the first, and I'd just like to have them say a word or two to you. A dear friend of mine, uh, a small business owner who represent, it was representative of all the small business owners around our country who are suffering in one form or another. He has a special story to tell. I'd like to have Shalom Berkman just step forward and say hello. I love you, Shalom. Great to be here. It's an honor. I'm here to represent or on behalf of small businesses, entrepreneurs that make the backbone of America. They say that there's an economic crisis like none other from the Great Depression. So what do you do during an economic crisis? Do you grow government? Oh yeah. Do you penalize small businesses? No! Do you cut government government spending? Yes! And you focus on small business and jobs. Yes! My wife Sheila escaped Iran when she was 19 years old. She climbed through the muddy Turkish mountains and she came here with no possessions. Now she owns a business and she supports 300 families. Oh. This is the American dream. And we want that dream to continue. So we're here to support these brave congressional people that are going to stop this health care bill. God bless you. God bless America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Yeah. And now another friend of mine. Your children may know him as Ham the Pig from <laughs> Toy Story. Others may know him as the creator of an environmental packaging system that replaces styrofoam. Oh, that guy. Or as an author. Others simply know him as Cliff from Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm certainly humbled to be here as the son of a truck driver and factory worker from Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's quite an honor. And uh, what we have to remember is for every working man and woman in our great country, that these people that are trying to force this health care bill upon us are not the philosophical descendants of John Kennedy and Tip O'Neill. <laughs> the philosophical descendants of Abby Hoffman, Saul Alinsky, and Wayne Gray. Yeah! These, these are Woodstock Democrats. Yes, they are. And let me explain what I mean by that. I was actually at Woodstock. I was a tractor driver. Helped build the stage with the carpentry skills I had. What's that? Woodstock. <laughs> Max, yeah, it's just farm. That's right. But when it started raining and everything fell apart because nobody was prepared, it was misery. It was a mess. Like and the very character. people that they railed against and their philosophical outlook on life, the military and the government, were the very people. With the sound of the helicopters coming over the hill. It was the National Guard that saved Woodstock. Yeah. It's the very people they're against that are saving them still to this day. Yeah. Yeah. We have to remember that. We have to remember where their philosophy comes. It doesn't come from America. It comes from overseas. It comes from socialism. Yes, it does. And socialism is a philosophy of failure. The greed of ignorance and the gospel of envy. Its inherent virtue is the equal sharing of misery. Yep. And I've got to thank Winston Churchill for that quote. And I want to thank you all for being here. God bless us all.
lives in our majestic White House. They and their administrations kept America safe and intact. As the United States of America, following our great Constitution and all the beliefs and teachings of our founding fathers, they protected our liberties and freedoms. But I'm sad to say, President Obama and this administration are not doing the same. Far from it. I'm honored to be at the side of Michelle Bachman, a great a great congressman, a great human being, and a true American patriot, to hopefully be a voice for all Americans who do not want to pass Obama government-run health care. taken away from us. Right. President Obama has his own obsession with trying to ram this health bill through to create a socialist America. We would be no better off than the European countries and Canada and New Zealand who suffer greatly from a poor health care system. Right. The rationing system creates many deaths. Is that what we want? No. I agree with you. I say no as well. We, as freedom-loving Americans, must not be scared into Obama's radical Chicago tactics. His agenda is not for the poor. It is solely for his political gain. The lies and propaganda are all very blatant, as shown to us by those who exposed ACOR. Which is as corrupt as all the president's czars. to ACORN claiming no awareness of ACORN support from all our tax dollars. Liars! showing signs of his failed stimulus programs. His only success in his one-year term as president is taking America apart, piece by piece. Could it be he has had 20 years of subconscious programming by Reverend Wright to damn America. Let them hear our concerns and deep commitment to our love of liberty, freedom, and protection of our great America. President Obama, how long is it going to take you to bring victory in Afghanistan and not sit idle? being killed. God bless our great nation, and may God give us all strength to prevail.